Surgical technology is more than passing instruments. A lot of people think that's what we do as surgical technologists. No one person in the operating room can do anything if we don't have every part of the team. And that includes anesthesia, the circulating nurse, the surgical technologist, and of course the surgeon. But the surgeon does rely a lot on the surgical tech. They are responsible for setting up. They are responsible for making sure that everything is available that they need during the surgery and they are responsible for making sure that things roll smoothly. We are lucky to be one of a few programs in this general area. They get actual simulated training and our labs are very realistic. I'm very happy to have this wonderful operating room. Um, it's a good size and it's gonna give them a very realistic experience. I love surgical technology, so I hope that a lot of them remain surgical technologists. There are some people who have been surgical technologists for upwards of 30 years, but many do go on to be registered nurses. We have a lot of our students go on to be surgical first assists in which they have a larger scope of work um, during the operation. There are a lot of different things that you can do as a surgical technologist to continue on in the field. Students who think well under pressure do really well in this program. Um, you have to be able to think on your feet. You have to be able to handle a lot of stress because it can be stressful. Our motto is patient first. So it is very important to always make sure that you have the utmost integrity. We teach surgical conscience and that is basically speaking up and doing what's right even if no one is looking because ultimately it's a patient that's going to be infected. Um, anatomy and physiology, of course, is very important in surgical technology, but also understanding basically what the patient might be going through. So we work on empathy and um, treating the patient with kindness and respect as well. Um, we are considered the last advocate for the patient. Once they're asleep, they can't speak for themselves, and it's our job to make sure they're taken care of.